Hey YouTube, Courtney from CD Exotics here and welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here and you have not subscribed, make sure you click the subscribe button and tap the bell so that you never miss a notification. Um, we do post videos every Sunday and I am trying to post videos every Wednesday as well. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a video on um, all my breeder males. Um, I'm going to show you what I used um, this season and kind of talk a little bit about um, my plans to replace a few of these males for next season because I got most of them in a collection that I bought from someone locally and most of them are single gene males and I would much rather have multi-gene males because a lot of my females are um, single genes as well. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this is my pastel GHI male. Let's see if we can get him to sit still a little bit. Um, he wants to be all over the place. Um, he's a great breeder for me. Uh, he bred for me last year as well. Um, so we'll see. Um, hoping um, to get a replacement for him this year, um, bred him to a pinstripe. So, you know, if I could get a, uh, you know, something like a lemon blast GHI male, use that to replace him. Um, but he's a, he's an amazing breeder. Um, he will breed anything. He is on the smaller side. Um, and he's been off food a little bit. He finally did take a couple meals because I was getting a little worried I was gonna have to pull him out of the rotation. Um, but he's been doing he's been doing a little better. Looks like he scratched his head on something. Um, so he's a great breeder. So this is just my pastel GHI. Um, I did get him in that collection that I got. Um, but just love all this blushing through here and the pastel coming through. Um, I'm not super big into some of the dark jeans, um, but GHI can do some really cool stuff. All right, so this is my orange dream male. Um, he's orange dream hat pied. Um, kind of see all his oranges down here. Um, his babies are super orange. Um, I mean, as far as I know, he's, you know, not high intensity or anything. Um, said I got him, ooh, he's going to run. I got him um, with that collection also. He's not going to cooperate. Because, you know, why would they ever cooperate when you're trying to do a video of them? Um, let's see if he'll sit there for a second. Uh, so he was the father of clutch number one this year um, with the bumblebee female. Um, said all, all of his babies that have been orange dream have all been really nice quality. Um, so he's a great breeder too. Nice size on him. I am planning on replacing him, um, with something with orange dream, um, with a few more genes in it. Um, I mean, I do love the quality he produces, so I do have. Uh, one of his sons, a pastel orange dream, 50% um, head pie. That if that one doesn't sell, I might actually just keep it because I really like the, the line of orange dream he is. Um, but I had planned on kind of combining a couple of the genes I have in single gene males, trying to get one, one male with all those genes. So we'll see. It's that nice and clean. Um, All right, so this is my fire male. Um, I also got him in that collection I picked up. Uh, he has been breeding to a couple females this year, um, but the one I'm most excited about, he's gonna leave, is uh, my fire bee. Of course, no one's gonna cooperate today because why would they do that? Um, I definitely am gonna be replacing him this year. Um, with either one of his babies, depending on what I get. Um, Jesus. Or I'm going to be adding a male. 
Come on, dude. He is not cooperating. Um, <laughs> gotta love snakes. He does not want to be on the camera today. Um, I'm going to be replacing him for sure. Um, he's an amazing breeder. Um, jeez, dude. This is ridiculous. Um, yeah, he, he's a great breeder. Um, but like I said, he's just single gene fire. Um, and I really want to, um, get a few other genes in there. So let me put him away. All right. Hopefully this one, uh, cooperates a little better than the fire mail. Um, this is a super inchy coral glow. Um, see, he doesn't have many, uh, many freckles. Um, I think that's the super inchy doing that. Um, he's very, I don't know if the camera's picking it up. He's very vibrant. Um, let me get him. We'll see him a little bit better here. Of course, he's probably gonna run now, but I picked him up too. Um, he, I have not confirmed any locks from him yet. I tried to breed him last year. He was a little small. He was like 400 grams. Um, so I kind of chalked that up to him just being too small. Um, but I mean, this year you can see he's plenty big enough and I have not confirmed any locks yet with him, which I'm, um, pretty bummed about. I was really hoping, um, I had a couple females that I've kind of, I've still been putting him in with, but I've also been putting a couple other males or another male in with them. Um, just because I don't want to, you know, miss out on the season with them because he can't seem to figure things out. Um, said I just I don't know I've tried him with several several different females I've tried uh I've tried other male sheds um you know I've I've checked him multiple times to make sure he is a male he does have sperm plugs um he's like 900 grams I mean he he should be breeding and he's a uh he's a 2017 I think I got him uh in in that collection um so I don't understand why he's not breeding. Um, either that or he's just that sneaky. And I just never see him lock, but you know, I find that hard to believe. Um, a cool head stamp, and she head stamp. Um, yeah, super inchy coral glow. Of course I sold my uh, pastel banana male at the end of last season because I thought for sure this male would be breeding and I didn't need, uh, I didn't need the other male. The other male was a great breeder. So I might not have any bananas or coral glows this year. Um, kind of learned my lesson on that. Definitely don't sell your breeder male until his replacement is confirmed actually breeding. Learn that lesson. All right. All right, so this is my albino male. This one I also got in that collection. Looks like he's got some poop or something on him. He is an albino possible het pied. Um, I don't have, I'm not breeding him to anything this year that'll prove him out with the het pied. Um, and I'm not breeding him to a ton this year, although he is an amazing breeder. Um, ooh, easy bud. Jeez, okay. Um, I am breeding him to a leopard that is either het candy or het albino. So we'll prove her out, hopefully. She does look like she's gonna go. Um, still waiting on her to ovulate, but she does look like she she's building really well. Um, so she looks like she should go. Um, but yeah, this is my, my leopard. Not my leopard, sorry. Breeding him to my leopard. Um, this is my albino said possible het pied. I am planning on replacing him and the next male I'm gonna show you um, with an albino pied. Um, so said he's a great breeder. Um, definitely gonna keep him around until the new male is breeding for sure um, because this guy would breed a rope. He is great. Um, you can see he's very large 
He has not eaten probably all breeding season, and you can see he really hasn't lost any body condition. I think he was like 1,400 grams going into breeding season. Um, <clears throat> but he's, I mean, he doesn't eat a lot, but you can see that that has not affected him one bit, um, and he's a great breeder. I like, uh, I like his contrast. Um, so, nice little male here. So, this is my pied male. I did pick him up. Um, he's another one that's kind of frustrating me this year. He's got some really nice size on him. Um, and he has, I have not confirmed any locks from him. Um, I do have eggs that I'm going to be cutting soon, um, and I did have him in with that female. She's a pastel het pied. Um, I'm trying to prove her out, uh, but I did not get any confirmed locks there, um, so she was also bred to the orange dream het pied, so we'll see. Um, you know, it would be awesome if he had actually locked with her and started the clutch, but I'm not hopeful for that. Um, you can see he's super low white. Um, I prefer medium white pies, but I said I, I am planning on replacing him. Um, I was really hoping I could get him breeding. Um, you know, I'm still putting him in, still trying. Um, you know, I've been trying a lot of the, a lot of the tricks in the book and haven't been successful yet. Um, <clears throat> I don't know, uh, this is like the year of my males just not wanting to breed. Uh, young males just can't seem to figure it out. Uh, but I am, I am going to be replacing him with an albino pied. Um, because I really like that double recessive project. Um, and I just, I don't see the point in keeping him around if I have an albino pied. So, said I said, I'm going to be picking up one of those and then he will be for sale. A nice little emoji there. He's a good eater. Um, you know, he's got some nice size on him. Um, he's plenty old enough. I think he's 2018. Um, so said same with the other male. I just don't know why he's not breeding. But I'm still throwing him in there. Still giving him a shot. So this is the last one I'm going to show today. Uh, I do have one more. Um, you guys saw him in that unboxing. Um, that powerhouse male. Um, I'm not showing him today. He's still in quarantine. Um, this, so this is the last one I'm showing today. This is my Mojave clown. Um, had some real high hopes for him this season. I plan on breeding him to quite a few females. And up until probably a month ago, I did not get any locks from him. Um, he finally has started locking. Um, so... Hopefully, it just was taking them a little bit longer. Um, hopefully, I still am able to get some babies out of them this season. Uh, the one female, it was, I started her late because she just got up to size. So, that should be good to go. Um, bigger females, I'm not sure. I've been breeding them with a couple other males as well. So, well, it's going to be a who's your daddy, I guess. Um, but, hopefully him. Um said uh, the one female I just paired him with is a uh is my black pastel Mojave so would love to make some uh some bells some head clown bells um and what I'm really looking for actually is the uh black pastel head clown because I really like black pastel and clown um I really I love clown in general um I think it's just really cool I love pies too um there's so many pies out there though. I mean, there's a lot of clowns out there too, but I just feel like clowns are pretty neat. Um, they really like the pattern. I love Mojave. Mojave is another one of my favorite, probably single gene codoms. Um, I don't know if you can see, I mean, he's just got like greens and he's just really cool. Pretty clean belly there. Not, not a real crazy head stamp, you know, I think. Not a real clown, crazy head stamp, but I really like this guy. I'm super excited that he finally started breeding for me. Um, 
trying to get him in some good light there. So we'll definitely be keeping him around. Uh, I'm not planning on replacing him this year. Um, but try to make a bunch of het clowns. Picked up a pastel het clown female. You guys saw in that unboxing. Um, said, I really like clown. I think there's a lot of cool directions you can go with clown. So that's my Mojave, my Mojave clown. All right, guys. So that was my uh, collection of breeder males. Um, you can kind of see from the video, most of them are not very cooperative. Uh, most of them just want to get back in tubs and breed in females. Uh, so I did actually just pair a couple right now um, while I had everybody out. Um, I usually pair on Mondays or Tuesdays. Um, a lot of times Mondays, but I knew I wanted to film this video. Um, so I kind of held off. Um, but I did just put a couple together. Um, I am planning on breeding kind of year round. That's kind of my plans. Um, rather than sticking strictly with uh, breeding season. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I mean, that might evolve over time. I might decide that doesn't work out too well. Um, but rather than wait, you know, if a female's ready now, like I have a female ready right now, um, rather than wait till fall um, to start pairing her, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just try and breed you around. I know a lot of people do it. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how I like it. We'll see at some point I might say, hey, no, I'm just going to um, be breeding seasonally. Um, but said so those were my males. Um, I will be doing, I'm not sure what my next video is going to be on Sunday. Might be, we'll see. I, I'm waiting for these eggs to pip. Um, but I might go ahead and cut them. So next video might be an egg cutting. Um, if it's not, it will definitely be next Wednesday will be the egg cutting. Um, and that I am fingers crossed, hoping for some pies. I'm really, really hoping that this female proves out. Um, I did not get any pies from her last year. Um, so, and I did try and pair her with my pied male. Like I said, no confirmed locks. Um, so we'll see. I paired her to the orange stream hat pied male. Um, hopefully, hopefully <laughs> I will get some pies this year. Um, really, really hopeful. Um, I was pretty disappointed when I didn't, I, you know, I had eight eggs last year and didn't get any. Um, so I'm hoping the odds were just not in my favor last year and that she is actually a head pied. Um, cause that's what she was sold to me as fingers crossed. Um, I did buy her as a, um, a breeder female. So I said, make sure you like share, subscribe, comment below. Let me know anything uh, you guys want to see, anything you guys don't like, um, anything you do like. Um, all comments are welcome. Um, make sure you subscribe, tap the bell. That way you don't miss any of my videos. And I will see you next time.